Okay, guys, I have a cocktail for you tonight. Now, last night, unfortunately, I had a bit of a video tragedy, and I wound up losing one of the best demos I have ever done of the Miles to Go Before You Sleep bath bomb from Bomb Diggy. Tried to recover it, <clears throat> went to T-Mobile, they've tried to recover it, but apparently I have a cleaner app on my phone, which makes sure that when it's deleted, it is permanently deleted. So I've been beating myself up over that one, so I figured it's time to uh, do a So White. Now, uh, I was wrong about the Yours Truly Jaden bubble bars. Apparently the Witch's Brew scent bubble bar, bubble, bar, bleh, bubble bar that I bought from her previously is not the Witch's Brew scent that I was under the impression it was. It's not that kind of spicy, cinnamon-esque type scent. It's more of a, um, it's a different type of Witch's Brew but it is the name of her bubble bar. And then I mistakenly thought I read that the Wicked bubble bar was more of that Witch's Brew scent I was looking for, that spiciness. It turns out, no. Wicked is the most apple scented bubble bar I have ever smelled. It doesn't smell quite like Snow White. So white. Sorry, I keep calling it Snow White. From Lush, but it is, mm, I want to say, 95% close to it. It's more of that fresh, clean, natural apple scent. And So White is more of a uh, different type of apple scent, you know? It's it's hard to, to explain, but let's go ahead and let's throw in So White, which is S-O White. Let's take a quick look at the Wicked Bubble Bar from Yours Truly Jaden, which is available. That's the thickness of it. That's a whole thing. I think it's pretty. I like the little glitters on top. Uh, it's a little thinner than what I remember coming from her, but you know something? Hey... Naturally handmade products, things change all the time. Not thinner by much at all, but um, I definitely do like the Yours Truly Jaden Bubble Bars. I always have. So we're going to put him to the side while we throw in the new So White. Now I will let you know, I do have the original. And if you want to see the miles to go before you sleep photos, you can look on my Instagram. But I am going to try and get that bomb again and demo it for you guys. I'm just so upset that I had the perfect demo and then I lost it. And it was it was incredible. You you just you had to have seen it. I'm so mad at myself for it. But this is So White. So White originally used to have a red embed in it, and now I'm hearing that it is changed to a blue and green embed. I believe that's what it is. I believe it's blue and green, not blue or green. So we're gonna see what it does. But it is a crisp apple scent. For me, for my opinion, I believe that it's a little more on the perfumous side of a crisp apple scent. Not so, so, so natural, or maybe it's just a different type of apple that I'm smelling, and I'm used to smelling like, I don't know, Red Delicious's or Macintosh or something like that. Um, I would have to say, though, it's a little more of the... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is more of a crisp apple scent, and I'm thinking the Yours Truly Jaden scent is a bit more candy-esque-like. But uh, it doesn't have like that sweet, sweet punch in the face type of apple scent. It has a crisp apple scent to it, and it smells really good. It almost smells like apple orchards. You ever go to an apple orchard or a pumpkin patch and they got apple trees, and they're yanking them bad boys right off the tree, and you're taking them home to make candy apples or apple pies, whatever the hell you want to do? That's kind of what it reminds me of. Oh, we're getting stuff coming out of it. That one right away started spitting shit out. Look. Now, since it, it's a fairly boring bath bomb, I said, you know something, let's cocktail this bad boy. I got this awesome bubble bar from Yours Truly Jaden. I mistakenly thought I ordered two of them. I wound up only ordering one. And I'm wondering why I got this little itty bitty envelope. Like, what the hell? Turns out I only ordered the one bubble bar. So, I don't know. I must be so exhausted when I'm making these orders and things like that that I'm just not... I'm confusing myself and I'm not ordering correctly. But that looks really cool. That's kind of like a neon type green yellow and a really pretty vibrant blue coming out of that. And now it's over and the excitement. I was so upset when I lost that bath bomb video last night. I'm still upset by it. I contacted the shop owner and I talked to Jamie for a little bit and I, oh man. She's trying to trying to get me to relax about it and calm down about it. That it, you know, things happen. It's okay. And no, 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 no. Sorry, Jamie. Things don't happen, man. It's it just that 
that needed to be seen. That was a perfect demo of a magnificent product. But I will tell you now, even though we're doing Lush and Yours Truly Jaden, which you can find both of the companies listed down below. You can find every custom company that I use listed down below. Um, you got to jump on Bomb Diggy's next restock. You got to get a miles to go. You got to. You just got to experience it. it. It definitely takes you into a different mindset. And if you'd like to see the photos of the amazing bath art that I captured from it, just hop on my Instagram. The information is down below as well. Everything you want to know is in that drop box, except for my shoe size. Um, <laughs> you have all the companies. Yours Truly Jaden is there. Yours Truly Jaden has been there from the get-go. I have used her before I even started videoing and filming the demos of these, these products and these bombs. And uh, her and Country Market Crafts were the first that I went ahead and went through with Etsy. I was very nervous to order from Etsy, which I'm sure a lot of you are. Just because I had, didn't know what it was, and I had never used it. So now I'm not nervous any longer. Um, it's kind of like using like a PayPal. Look, look, he's burping. You hear him? And now he fought it. Okay. So my bath bomb has a lot of gas. <laughs> Um, Etsy's kind of like using kind of like a PayPal where you're protected. You could always like open a claim later if something bad happens or if you never receive your product or if the company shuts down. You know, like if there's anything happens, you, you can kind of always open the claim within a timely manner. And, uh, you know, it, it, I kind of feel more secure using Etsy shops. Um, I did get burned on Instagram just recently from Scary Apparel. I lost $20.88. Yep, called my credit card company, got a hold of PayPal, went to Store Envy, did the whole nine, listed on my Instagram that they scammed, don't don't trust it. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people are coming forth with their complaints that they never received any product. This place has been going since August. And people have been losing products and losing pro losing money and losing money and losing money and receiving no products. So yeah, you can get burned, but I have yet to be burned on Etsy. I've had really good experiences, so I would say don't fear so much because you do have that extra protection that you can open a claim, God forbid anything, which I have gotten messages from a lot of you that you are fearful of it. I mean, it's fully understandable. But the companies that I use, I personally purchase from. I personally speak to. I've personally had the customer service experiences. Um, I have personally dealt with these people. It's not like I'm going to say, hey, Go for this company, you know, and try it out and promo it when I've never used anything from it. No, I always make sure that I've used something, that I know, that I've in-depthly spoke to the person. I do have one site on there that is only for the UK. Now, granted, I have not used his product, but I have in-depthly had conversations with him. I can Skype with him. I can definitely, you know, get a hold of him at a drop's notice if I need. Very, very sweet gentleman. Very kind. And this is basically his hobby not his uh, not his actual business and uh, yeah he's really doing really well in the business so I'm very very happy to say that that is a friend of mine and uh, he is for the UK only he is thinking about venturing out and shipping out to the US but uh, just not sure about it because it is a hobby for him at the moment I'm trying to convince him to do it I like his products I would I, from what I've seen and from all, everything that I've heard and every every customer that I've actually found that has ordered product from him, they're all pretty pleased. So I'm like in dire need to try his products. Uh, it's in the Dropbox. It says UK only next to it. I forget the damn name. It always slips my tongue. But when I found out he was a gentleman, I was like, oh my God, a guy in the business. Yay. I love the fact of hearing men getting into this business. It makes me more hopeful for Richie and things like that. And because he likes this type of stuff, but he would like to create and paint and decorate and he wouldn't like to, he doesn't like to really bathe in it. <laughs> like when we went into the stage of I wanted to make bath bombs and everything just for the house, just to play with. Um, he was more into let me decorate them and things like that, you know. So it kind of gives me a more excitement. You know, when I wanted to make natural soap because I have allergies to everything. Uh, he was more into, well, hey, we can do it in this shape and we can, you know, put the stick in this way with this kind of, you know, dye and this and that and... Make it look like this once you cut it and stuff. And he's really into that. So it makes me happy to hear that men are in this business. Now let's go ahead and get the strainer out for this bubble bar. And it's going to get noisy, guys. My apologies. Before we do so, let's take a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shot of this bath art here. And look at our green water. 
No longer red, it's green. Let's go ahead and do a moisture check real fast. I like to stir it up a little bit just so I can kind of get the actual feel. This one is a pure 10, I gotta tell you. There is so much moisture going through this bad boy that once I add this bubble bar in, we're done. Because your Shirley Jaden bubble bars are pretty moisturizing. Oh yeah, I'm just sliding. So I am real, real happy with the amount of moisture. Um, last time, I think it was last year that I used the So White, it did linger on my skin for hours. Yeah, it's on my skin still. So I'm happy. I definitely like this new So White. I definitely like the green. I don't know why, it's like intriguing. I like the green. But let's go ahead, let me set up the strainer, let's pop our bubble bar in, and let's start making some bubbles, guys. Give me two seconds. Wow, just from crumbling it in the tub, I heard he swished around some bubbles. So, take a good look here, that's what we got. I crumbled it right over, it went to like total dust, it was a great crumble. So I really like that, and we already got some bubbles. So let's go ahead and watch it go down. Goodbye, bubble bar! The wicked, wicked world! I'm melting! I love that this bubble bar was named Wicked. <laughs> I'm melting! I'm melting! Those of you who have seen Wizard of Oz definitely know the, uh, the Wicked Witch. Anytime she touches water, she melts. So it kind of goes good. Wow, man, this is one hell of a strong apple scent I'm getting right now. Holy crap! I gotta say, I like it. I definitely needed a more vibrant kind of pick me up. Uh, really, really, really upset about losing. I need a little stir about losing that uh, that video. Really upset about it. But um, shit happens, and I am human, and I'm fairly a YouTube rookie. I don't know everything, so I I am liable to make a mistake from time to time. It, it really happens. A little bit of a bubble trick, just holding the faucet, and let's go ahead and build. I don't like doing all the work of sloshing and sloshing and sloshing in the water to build it because this is my time to relax and I don't want to work out. I have already done my workout. I do not need to do another workout. I just want to relax in the bathtub now. I will say we are getting a nice flow even though we had like a pure 10 on moisture with that bath bomb. I am getting a good flow amount of bubbles. See? I definitely do like this cocktail. I gotta say, this is a pretty good go. Look at that. Even if I don't really do much, this is actually a really good go. Now, in all actuality, you don't have to use a full bubble bar. You can use just a little bit. It's not really a big deal. Um, I like to go big because that's what I do. I'm a big person, and I want to really indulge and really enjoy my bath, and I'm gonna use a full bubble bar. Because if I'm going to spend the money on it, I, you know, I mean, I'm going to go for the full effect. Which one time in your life, try it, please. I mean, I know they're expensive at times. I know it's like an expense that you really, you know, you could be buying groceries with that money. But you got to have a few time. That's the key to life. Take out some time to indulge and relax and enjoy yourself. Okay, now I'm getting bubbles creep up my butt. <laughs> yeah, they're starting to hit the edge here. So I better slow down before we have an accident. I better set this water off before a problem happens. Okay, because Lewis will kick my freaking ass again if there are bubbles seeping over because he did just clean the bathroom once again. Uh, my husband does a lot of bathroom cleaning. Uh, I only call my husband Lois as a joke. He's not really like, you know, he is kind of like the family guy mom. <laughs> He, the once the paper towels are gone, he's like, no paper towels! <laughs> and then he runs to the corner store. But uh, he has a paper towel addiction, yes. So if you ever want to get him, his birthday is November 4th. It's coming up shortly. Holy shit, I didn't get him anything for his birthday. Oh, shit. Oh, oh wait, I got him a trinket box? Damn it, I gotta get something fast. Oh, my God. Okay, I forgot my husband's birthday. That You know something? That's me. I will forget his birthday. <laughs> he forgot mine, too, one time, I, I think. No, I'm lying, he didn't. Alright, I'm a bad wife. I forgot his birthday. Shit. 
All right, so it uh, looks like I got to get something off Amazon overnight. <laughs> very, very fast. But, uh, anywho. Uh, yeah. Damn it, man. Uh, okay. Well, what we see here is the Wicked Bubble Bar and the So White Bath Bomb. Let me dig you down a little bit. Um, wow, look at the, look at the groove marks in the bubbles. I love when it's that dense, you know? Like, when it's just... When it's dense enough that it's not like flopping straight off and it's fluffy like this. Because then you do the. Look, you get your finger marks in it. And it passes the finger mark test. But let's scoot them all over. Now we are left with a vibrant, very vibrant green color. Wow, that bubble bar really kicked in in color. So enough of that little, like, you know, light green color. We got a nice vibrant color going on here. Shit, I can't believe I got this guy's birthday. Damn it, man. I'm so bad. I got a lot of shit going on right now, though, so it, it, I'm going to have to, you know, get a pass on that one. Damn it. What do you order a guy, like, really fast? Like, I mean, even if I could run out to the store real quick, I don't... What the hell, man? He doesn't even tell me, like, anything he wants or anything like that. I'm always like, what do you want for your birthday? He's like, just buy the baby something. I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> even before the baby, I was like, what do you want for your birthday? And he was like, just go get yourself something. Okay. <laughs> But here we have it, a very vibrant, darker green color. It almost looks kind of lighter, a little bit lighter than the Lordermas Rule. Wow, I'm really liking that. And look, I still have my Enzymic. It's still whole, that reward. It's still whole. I mean, I only use a little bit of it at a time. I just rub it on, you know, and, and then step out of the shower. That's usually my morning routine. I like to use that one on my face, though. Um, I don't know why, but I really like that scent, that freshness of that Enzymic uh, roulade. I'm not a huge fan of the roulades, I gotta say, but I do like it. And, oh man, I have found a love. I have found... Okay, now, remember I told you I was beta testing for a company, Mermedia? Well, um, the, the taggy kind of came up because I leave it in the shower with me, but the Mermedia lip scrub in bubblegum? <gasps> it's amazing! See, like, I already, like, dipped into a lot of it. I leave it in the shower, and every morning, or every bath... You know, I mean, depending on whatever the hell the mood strikes me, I will go ahead and smear it all over my lips and scrubby, 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 scrubby. And it tastes amazing, even though I don't really know if you're supposed to be eating them, but it's, it's just all sugar. Uh, it smells amazing, tastes amazing. It's just fucking perfect. And my lips is going on really, really, really smooth now. Because normally I'll have, like, that little chapped lip piece where it looks like a like a scab almost on your lip. And that's all gone now. Like, my lipstick's going on really nice. It's just, wow, this one works really well. Um, I have the one from um, Lush, the bubblegum flavored one from Lush. But for me, it's too synthetic-y bubblegummy. It's too much. It's like, that's like a migraine scent for me, so I don't like it. And yes, I admit when I am wrong, and I was wrong about Candy Mountain. Okay, so what? apparently what I was reading, I was confused. Uh, I was confusing the person I was also talking to. Candy Mountain was not Snow Fairy, but falls more into the creamy candy, am I saying this right? Falls more into creamy candy and the pretty pink bath bomb type family? Um, yeah, and, uh, French Kiss Bubble Bar, no, is not Twilight scented, but in my opinion, it's the closest you would get to doing, like, a Twilight cocktail for a bubble bar, like, because they don't have a Twilight bubble bar. So when I go to do a Twilight cocktail, which I'll do one shortly, I think I might be saving it for Boogie's birthday so he can have a really good night's sleep, which his birthday is December 2nd, and then mine's December 8th. And uh, then we have Christmas! <laughs> but uh, I think I'm going to do that massive Twilight cocktail because now I have every Twilight product you can think of <laughs> that is out right now. But they don't have a bubble bar in Twilight, so I was all upset. But French Kiss is like the closest kind of lavender-y type thing that I could put in with it. But no, it is not... Uh, Twilight Scent Family, so it's just the closest in my opinion, but I forgot what April said, I think it's the Ooh La La, I believe it was the Ooh La La Soap, it smells like, French Kiss smells like, but to me, it's the only thing I could think of bubble bar wise that would fit with Twilight, because it is like that lavendery kind of sleepy type smell, and it's nice and relaxing, and it does go really fucking well with Twilight, I gotta tell you, man, and uh, yeah, I am going to most likely... Do that massive one, if I don't do it sometime soon. If you don't see the Twilight Cocktail come up soon, it's going to definitely come up around Boog's birthday, the beginning of, of December. Also, I have not announced our November month giveaway, which I will be doing that shortly. 
uh, within the next couple of days, you will see the November giveaway. Hint, it's Moon's Harvest. Uh, but because it is getting cold outside, it is gearing more towards Moon's Harvest summery type products. I have a Krabby Cakes in there and a few summery scented bombs. There is a Bontini in there. So just so you guys know, the month of November is going to be Moon's Harvest and I will post a giveaway video shortly. Okay guys, if you have yet to subscribe and you've made it thus far, you might as well hit that button, right? Because, I mean, why not, right? So hit the button down below, subscribe, flick those notifications on so that way the next time I do a bath bomb, demo, cocktail, unwrapping, unboxing, or anything of the sort, definitely you might want to check it out. Sometimes I come up with some really cool company products, sometimes they are duds, but, you know, tis life, happens. But uh, definitely if you enjoyed this little cocktail that we did here of the Yours Truly Jaden, which is listed in the drop box down below with every other company, including my own personal information, do not hesitate to ask me questions, jump on, talk, whatever you want to do. Uh, if it is an actual serious question that I have not answered on a YouTube video for use, or in a comment section or anything like that, do not hesitate to message me on my Facebook Messenger or my Instagram. Go right for it. I'm a normal everyday human being and I like talking to you guys. Um, I might not always get back to you right away, but I will do the best I can to get back to you as fast as I can because I have a uh, pretty soon to be 11 month old son that is cutting his first tooth at 11 months and he's killing us. Uh, we haven't slept in forever. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I went to sleep at a normal hour and woke up when the sun was up. So, yeah. Okay, I love you all. I will talk to you soon. And uh, yeah, definitely comment down below. Talk amongst yourselves. Talk with me. And I will get to you as soon as I possibly very well can. Um, yeah. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.